What's going on, everybody? We are here on Tuesday, June 20th. Uh, first day back after a long three-day weekend. And we're going to look at ES today on the five-minute time frame. These numbers will apply for SPY as well. Only difference being I'm going to have pre-market levels that turned out to be the reason for a, a big-time trade that we made today earlier. Um, so if we take a look, we're going to go overnight and just kind of scan through. We'll go through each candle and kind of show you guys um, how actionable um, these levels can be if you learn how to do them properly. So if you take a look, we're looking for imbalances in the chart. In short, I mean, you guys can go watch videos. If you want to see the video, I can link it to you. But in short, we're looking for these right here where you have a wick, large body candle, other wick right here. And in this area here, we can go into it with the assumption that this is going to be an imbalance towards the downside. No price action, no activity inside this area other than this large imbalance to the downside. So as we go through, as you can see, it respects it multiple times in the pre-market session throughout um, Asia's trading session, I should say. Um, create a volume imbalance here, bearish. Price gets up into it and rejects yet again. Another level forms here right at 4 10 a.m and this is where the fun begins so if you take a look here obviously you know if you're not trading futures it doesn't really apply because you're not going to be pressing the button before 9 30 but um just interesting enough to see that as we set this range which i'm also going to note right here this range from swing high to swing low just with some fibs. I don't trade using fibs, but I use them for the measurements. So price, um, obviously we drop down. As we've reproached back up, this being this little golden pocket area, the 0.62 fib up to the 0.79. There are videos on that as well. I can link you to them for sure. Um, the person I learned from does a much better job of explaining um, than I do, but um, just how I use them. But anyways, so early on, right before market open, we get this rejection off of um, this bearish imbalance right here and price drops back down to um, this low right here at 450. Um, we actually break that low before wicking right back up and then we start to fade. Now, as we're fading, it's important to note that we also had an imbalance right here. Let me just change that to red so you guys could see. And as price gets up into this imbalance, it takes a little bit of time, but that's when we start to, to really fade off. Now, in the process, we do form uh, another imbalance right here. And this is the trade that I took, and it was good for uh, about 20 points. Um, and as price retraces back into this newly formed imbalance, uh, my expectation was that we would break down, head down for a lower level of support, in which we did. And in the process, we also created a couple more imbalances in this area. So there would be one next here. And we finally get back down to a support level. Also a one standard deviation move from that um, pre-market range that we identified. Um, so as price gets into this support level, and I should note right here that this also is a bearish imbalance, okay? So before I have this one on, let me take it off for a second. If we take a look here, we see we formed another imbalance, but we are in a support level. As price starts to bounce out of support, we can note that we actually form a bullish imbalance here, right? Um, I'll show you guys in a sec. We have wick wick nothing else going on inside this area other than this large imbalance candle here and as price gets up to the high of this bearish imbalance right here we reject back down but where do we get caught by this imbalance that was just formed right so we just take off finally get up and through this imbalance filling it in we reach higher into this imbalance and reject right away but as price comes back down we respect the high of this previous bullish imbalance right here, and we take off right back up into this area. So you can look at it two ways. For me, I know that we have this imbalance right here. I'm gonna take that one off the chart for just now. 
So as we respect, we're moving higher, create another one in here. So if you see a little gap in the chart like that, you shouldn't look at it as nothing. You can mark that level out as um, an imbalance to whichever direction price moves. So we gapped up, therefore we give you that as you know, a bullish imbalance or um, you know, act as a support as price comes back into that level. So we reach a little bit higher here, right up into this. We take that high from the most recent high here. We bounce back down and look where we fall right into. We wick and take off. Um, this time we create another imbalance through previous resistance and we slice right through right there. Again, this is going to come off my chart now. Up and through this one as well, that creates another imbalance. So if you're kind of seeing what I'm talking about here, the only time that these aren't going to hold true is when you get an imbalance in the opposite direction to just shred right through them, right? So again, another one right here. As we make our way up and through, after the first failed attempt at this level here, we make our way up through, and it's actually important to note that this level, as price chops around in this level, this is filled. Don't have to worry about that anymore. And as we get back up, look where price rejects. Again, our uh, little pre-market level that I spoke about at 9 o'clock in the morning, get back up into that level and reject after filling this imbalance right here. Price then trickles back down, and this is how we close the day. Um, there are other instances, of course, where, you know, we could mark this as a bearish imbalance where, although we got above, we never closed anything above it and we reject back down lower and, you know, slowly but surely we start to melt, get back up into this level, reject hard to close out the day. So this is what my chart's looking like as we head into the overnight or session right in here all right um so that's the five minute we have a couple minutes here i'm gonna flip back over on the spy and i'll show you guys how even on a 30 minute time frame these principles will still hold true so this is uncharted at all today um this was our thursday um, 9 30 open candle right here and that's a bullish imbalance something to keep on watch and obviously it uh played out to be important today so um we take a look spy is not going to give you the levels es does but it will create that gap and there's our little opening gap um price opens up inside this bullish imbalance right here and as we make our way back up to the high of this imbalance it actually flips and we can't get above it that's going to be one of the little support turn resistance uh, flips right there so price rejects and we fade and we get caught right into our support level that dates back to tuesday june 13th um if you don't <laughs> if you don't believe that uh this is on my chart you could look at my tweet from yesterday um but anyways we get into the support level um start to make a slow progress higher until we get this imbalance candle right here at 12 o'clock um that's worth labeling for sure um, I'm going to flip this green and as price gets back up to this high, it rejects. This also formed a bearish order block right here, right here. Again, videos on that. Take a look, figure it out. Um, but as we reject, we settle right back down into support. Um, so, uh, it's clear going into tomorrow, we got a couple levels to the upside that we got to take care of. Um, might not be as smooth sailing as uh one would think but um on the flip side of that we built tons and tons of support um on the downside so um slower moves i think that could be a, sh a definite possibility moving forward but um but that's all i got on the s p today um if you have any questions feel free to reach out um, if not i will catch you guys next time